Hey, so this week I've got to be cheery. That's what my wife told me. We're going to talk about something that is commonly not talked about. For example, my wife's telling me to smile in the background. For example, um, watches. I'm a big fan of watches. We need watches. Um, in a survival situation, they are they have features that are awesome. Garmin makes a killer watch, but it's not bulletproof. It doesn't hold up, and it relies on technology that may not be available if the grid goes down. The other watches out there, uh, I can't really think of any off the top of my head, um, but most of them rely on technology. Your smart watches, a good tool, rely on technology. If you don't have cell service, the watch doesn't work. If the watch doesn't work, it's a piece of equipment that is not good for you. So I tend to, well, I don't tend to, I prefer G-Shocks. I wear G-Shocks. I've been wearing them for eight, nine years. They're bulletproof. Uh, this one here is seven years old, eight years old. It's uh, had welding splatter all over it. I've timed grout with it. I have done uh, a lot of abuse on it. I've had two problems. Uh, the band busted after about five years and that had to do from heat from a welding torch, not necessarily the wa uh, fault wa watches problem. And the, the glass got all screwed up from welding splatter. Um, I was burning off pile and um, it kind of, it still worked fine. You just kind of couldn't read it through the glass. Um, this year for our anniversary, my wife got me the G-Shock um, Mudmaster. The Mudmaster is the heavy sports utility vehicle of all. This is like the Humvee, the big diesel pickup. This is their big, big workhorse. This is the one they're the proudest of. This watch is called the Range Man, and you more than get your money's worth out of this watch. This watch does everything that this watch does, except for it has a couple of features that this one doesn't. This one doesn't have. Um, it's got the hands, and what's cool about that is you can use the hands for bearing when you're in compass mode. It has uh, four features on it. It's got altitude, barometric pressure. Temperature. The temperature works so-so. It's not spot on, but it's a good reference. This one runs about two and a half degrees off. This one runs about a degree and a half off. Um, it's got a compass. Did I already say compass? If I said compass, make a comment down below. Um, anyways, moving along. This is the watch for women. This is my wife's watch. It's called the Pro Trek. It also is an awesome watch that has the same features that these two have: the barometric pressure, the the temperature, altimeter, and compass. Um, and also, it it just is not as beefy as these two watches. It's not rated to hold up to as much grit and grime as these two watches do. The neat thing about these three watches, when you don't have one of these, these all solar charge. So when you're wearing them out there in light, even in low light, they'll charge the battery. They all have a built-in light in them, so you can read this one's hands glow. <laughs> So as you can see right here, this one has the barometric pressure displayed and it has the temperature inside this room displayed. Um, it solar charges, uh, just for the money, this is probably the best deal on the watches, if you don't mind pink. Um, but Krylon's made every day, brown, black, greens, and then it'll be a little battle-worn pink. Nothing wrong with that. Real men wear pink. 
And it also has a whole plethora of other things, world time, timers, timers on timers. I don't know what you'd need that for in a real world scenario. But, you know, just even being a hunter, direction's big for, for long shot placement. Um, barometric pressure's huge when you're coming into long shots. Also, your um, altitude, you know, the higher the altitude, the thinner the air. So I just tend to rock the G-Shocks over any other watch on the market because it doesn't need a cell phone to uh work but i will say this they have now put a feature on these to um hook up to your cell phone via bluetooth i opted out of that option because if your cell phone's not working your watch isn't gonna work um and they're the negative to these is they are a little hard to hook up but we'll put a link in the, the, the description below leading you to uh, a watch guide that explains beautifully on how to set your watch up. Um, they're big and robust. They get a they're a little hard to wear at first, but you get used to them in two to three days. The bands are super tough. They, they just absolutely work. And in all honesty, if you don't have this in your kit, get it in your kit because it's going to be invaluable. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. Uh, don't forget to uh, strap up the like button and um, thanks for watching.